this is when we were in, uh, Be in Beijing, when we uh, paid a visit to the National uh, uh, People's Congress of China. Uh, I put on the, the same tie on purpose today ah, okay. to wow. show that, uh, so it's symbolic. This is uh, uh, the, uh, the visit of our parliamentary delegation of the uh, Committee for Foreign Affairs uh, to the China uh, Road and Bridge Corporation. So the company building the, um, the Penishat Bridge. And this is a, a picture of the chairman and myself and me presenting him a, a creation tie. During your time as a foreign minister and as the uh, president of the Committee for Foreign Policy of the Croatian Parliament, you were actively involved between China and Croatian relations. How would you evaluate the communication between the two countries? I um, can only uh, take over the expression made by your prime minister when he was in Croatia. He spoke about the diamond age. So uh, I would say that we are still in this diamond age when it comes to relations between Croatia and China. When I was a foreign minister, I didn't have the opportunity to visit China. I'm the first president of the Foreign Affairs Committee uh, of Croatia in the parliament who, with the delegation, paid a visit to China. And it was a very um, productive visit. We spent almost five days in China. We went to Beijing and to Shanghai. And it took place one day after our final in the uh, soccer uh, world championship in Croatia, unfortunately did not win, but uh, came second. And many people in China supported Croatia. And uh, when I was in Munich in the lounge before flying to China, we watched the final in Munich at the airport in the business lounge with some Chinese people supporting Croatia. The second one, we want to talk about the Belt and Road Initiative. Your Prime Minister actually highly appreciated that and highly uh, regarded it as a very smart and wise way to build the Croatian and China relations. So what do you think of his statement and what kind of changes have you seen that you know, BRI has brought the cooperation between China and Croatia? First of all, our position in Croatia is that this initiative perfectly fits into the global relationship between the EU and China. So uh, uh, both approaches are compatible. We have appreciated the way the cooperation is being realized and we are quite proud of this flagship project uh, being underway. The construction of this very important bridge linking two parts of uh, Croatian territory, the Pelishat Bridge uh, in the south of Croatia. Uh, this is, when it comes to BRI, certainly a big success because it is part of BRI, uh, but it is also uh, a part of a uh, uh, Croatia's economic priorities. The, the Patriots Bridge being built by a Chinese company is uh, symbolically very important because it shows that China is uh, capable of having companies uh, which can build bridges uh, and other uh, important uh, infrastructure projects uh, uh, in the European Union. So Croatia is the first one. So we are a flagship project. We also have other projects between Croatia and Senna. We have Norinko, the wind farm near Sen, uh, here uh, in Croatia. But we could do a lot more together. There's also a digital uh, a project uh, uh, underway between Huawei and the Croatian state institutions, so there are many things we can do together. Health, tourism, we could work much more together when it comes to education. So there are many possibilities, we just have to uh, use them, we have to uh, uh, go, go for it. Yeah, I think Croatia is not very important, it's not only very important in BRI initiative, but also very important in the 17 plus one. Our position in Croatia is that both approaches are compatible so the compatible the uh, the compatibility is there between the approach of 27 plus 1 and 17 plus 1 so both works our position is we can have both we can have 17 plus 1 and we can have 27 plus 1 and with both uh, approaches work 
and both approaches are compatible. And that's the most important thing. On the 400th anniversary of the CPC, so on this occasion, what's your expectation of China-Croatia relations in the future? When it comes to relations between Croatia and China, uh, I, I'm, I'm happy that I could tr contribute modestly to the development of, uh, of the relations between Croatia and, and China. So we're moving in the right direction. China and its relations with the world, with the US but in particular, with the European Union, I would say that uh, China has made an incredible change when it comes to its power, economic power, its influence in the world. I would even say unprecedented how um, quickly uh, the transformation has occurred and is still underway. Uh, but with that transformation, with, with China having become a world power when it comes to politics, when it comes to uh, uh, economy, when it comes to uh, soft power too, of course, when it comes to technology, artificial, artificial intelligence, that also goes with a much greater responsibility when it comes to world affairs. And it is very important in the long run that there is a constant dialogue between China and the US, between China and the European Union. There will always be common points, points of cooperation, there will always be frictions, we will always, there will always be different interests between the major powers in the world. But what we have to achieve, we need to have global lines of cooperation because we have a great responsibility for the future of our world and that is particularly true for China, being now a world power. Big responsibility when it comes to uh, the destiny of the world and what we have to avoid, we have to avoid a global conflict uh, with uh, the artificial intelligence being so developed, not only in China, also in the US. We have to be aware of the great responsibility China has when it comes to world affairs. When it comes to economy, I'm uh, very uh, optimistic, so our relations are becoming stronger and stronger. What we also have to achieve, we have to achieve a much stronger political cooperation. And I think that this economic cooperation, which uh, lies under the political level, is very important to make it easier the Germans used to say uh, in the past, uh, the idea was Wandel durch Handel. So you can change things by having commerce.